to get to the answer, okay? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So I want to establish some norms of how we're going to carry out the discussion for the number talks. So when someone comes up here and they demonstrate their thinking on a problem, and if you agree with me, I want you to shake your hand like this. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Now, in sign language, this, or excuse me, this is a D. So if you have a different way of looking at something, a different way of thinking about something, say, I thought something different. Okay? I thought something different. And then I'll know to have you come up and share what you thought. Okay? And how you thought it was different. Okay? Because the important thing is that we're going to learn from each other. Okay? And this is going to help us get better at math become experts in it, okay? Yes. All right, so here's the problem for you guys, 17 plus 23. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to work on different ways on how to solve this problem, okay? Double-digit numbers, you can talk to your partner if you'd like, all right? So let's try to start working on that. the kids have an opportunity to go back and work on the problem individually or with another person. And while they're working on the problem, they're talking about uh, how they're solving it. And then I brought them back as a group, and Joshua is the first student to come up to the board to present his ideas. The problem was 17 plus 23. And I, I broke it apart, and I got 17. I got the 3 from the 23, and I added it to the the 17 and made it a 20 so it could be easier to add, and I broke apart the 20 to a 2 tenths, and it was easier to add, and the answer was 40. <laughs> As you can see, um, this is a very powerful tool, the Never Talks that we're using. Um, the students are able to share their thought process as they're walking through how they're solving the problems that are on the board. The reason why this is such a powerful strategy is the students are able to learn from each other. They're learning how to think flexibly. This helps us with our mathematical practice of the kids being able to explain their thinking and try to understand others. And what I like about this is that the kids are engaged, they're talking about math, and they're talking about the process of solving the problems that are up on the board. So they're able to talk to each other about different strategies and techniques that they've used. They're sharing with each other their thought process on how to solve things very easily. And they're helping each other really understand and delve deeper into math. And so that's um, much more powerful than me, the instructor, getting up there and teaching them. They're learning from each other. So this is a very powerful tool for our students. 
And as you can see, uh, some of them are really interested um, in sharing their ideas with each other. Thank you.